Hola people, Bree Slay here, aka The Beauty Plug, and I am back with my part two of my Sephora haul. My box has just arrived, and I'm going to do an unboxing with you guys. So if you want to see what I recommend that you go back and get while the sale is still on, then um, you know what to do. Okay, so I've just opened the box. I'm literally like, I just opened the box. And so I went and caught me some things, girl. Girls and guys and gents. All right, so the first thing that I got, one of the things that I got was pa Prada Paradox's refill. So I don't know if you guys know, the Paradox, um, pa Prada Paradox bottles are refillable. So it's always save your coin, more economical, to go get the refill and just refill the bottle that you already have. I was originally going on there to get me a um, 3.4 ounce bottle, or is it the five ounce bottle? The bigger bottle, because I have, I believe, a one ounce bottle, maybe a 1.7. And I was like, well, why am I doing that when I could just refill it? So that's what I got, the refill. That smells divine. If you wanted to get an idea of what it smells like, take My Way by Giorgio Armani, the original My Way by Giorgio Armani, and take the Valentino Donna's Born in Roma, put those together, and you got Prada Paradox. Okay, I move on. The next thing I got was Skylar Coconut Cove. I got me a, this is supposed to be in a gift set. I don't know why they sent it like two separate things. Um, so this is actually an unboxing for me. I have not looked up the notes. Um, actually, the notes here are um, bergamot, coconut, amber. Okay, so let's see what it smells like. Now, I did go the other day into the store and got a little, got a little smell, a little sample smell, um, but I couldn't really smell it because, as always, I was a woman on the go and I had to go, so I couldn't get a good smell of it. But this is the 50 ml. I believe I got the gift set with the two for 90, if I'm not mistaken, plus 20% off. Love this bottle. The bottle is very clean and minimalistic. Love the coconut on the back, the packaging. Today's scent of the day that I have on is Homage Guidance. Check out my video on that. It's my first um, Homage fragrance. Check out my video, I'll link it at the end. But um, I'm gonna attempt to spray it on here to see if I can see what it smells. This smells like Skylar Coconut. smelling like a whole smell it reminds me of something and when I figure out what it reminds me of I'll get back to you guys it says coconut but to be honest with you I don't smell coconut I'm gonna have to get back to you guys on what that reminds me of okay next Next, we got Juliet Has a Gun, Lust for Sun, okay? This is a new fragrance by them um, that came out as well. I'm not going to give you any notes on this right now because this is just a t really an unboxing. And I jumped on here and was like, I got to give you all the deets and treats. I really did not prepare. Usually, I have the notes prepared on the side, but I didn't prepare for this. Um, however... When I smelled this in the store, it was giving me vibes of summertime. You know what I mean? Like summer. So let's see what it smells like. Um, it's actually new. It's one of the newest ones. I also own Juliet has a, um, I'm sorry. I also own Vanilla Vibes. So this is the packaging. It comes in like this little styrofoam case, which I think is good because it's preserving, you know, materials. I forgot what the retail was on this. Now this right here, baby, baby, this smells like sun. This smells like summertime, divine. It's a note in here that smells very familiar and it's a floral note. And I don't know if it's tuberose or jasmine, but yeah, this, this is gonna be a powerhouse for summer. A powerhouse yet not cloying. 
This smells like summertime. It smells like beach. This smells like vacation. This smells like I need my straw hat. This smells like I need my see-through uh, bathing suit cover-up with my thong bikini. That's what this is giving. This is going to have good projection, sillage, and longevity. The Skylar Coconut, clean and fresh. And I still, again, can't get what this reminds me of. But I'm going to get it. I'm, I'm going to get it. Then, as a recommendation, and I can't think of who recommended this to me. And I feel like it. she's on YouTube as well. Um, Sol de Janeiro. So I have the Bum Bum Cream and I have this um, the Chirosa spray, but this supposedly helps with firming. So this helps kind of give your legs that firming look, your whole body that firming look. And I love anything that makes me look better, okay? So I went and got this as well. Let's open this and see what this is looking like. Oh, this is very cute, this packaging. So it comes with the pump separated from the actual Oh, body butter. I like this, honey. She cute or whatever. Mm-hmm. And it's so cute because the bottom is rubber. So I guess the glass bottle is covered with rubber, which I think is great so that it doesn't slip because you know when you get something oily, it slips. And you put this on your vanity. Oh, this is adorable. Love it. Love the packaging. Okay. We also got Ellis Brooklyn... This is the discovery set, I'm assuming. I'm very interested in salt. Um, so they have in this pack, in this Ellis Brooklyn, I believe this was, was it 90 or $60? I can't remember. And it comes with myth, salt, sun fruit, and vanilla milk. I really wanted to smell salt because small, salt supposedly has an aquatic smell. So I'm going to unbox these and smell these with you right now. Okay. So the first one we're going to do is Ellis Brooklyn Myth. Oh, no, honey. I did not know that these are the dapper ones that you dap. So guess what's going to happen? We're taking this back because I don't do the dappers over here. I don't, I don't do that. I do perfume sprays. So yeah, Sephora, this is going back. However, I'm gonna let you know, I, I couldn't even smell the first one that I opened. It has no smell to me. This one is salt. Let's see what salt smells like. That's a damn shame. I can't even smell them. So moving right along. Yeah, I'm not doing nobody's uh, dap perfume. I'm not doing that. I need an automizer. Thank you. Okay, next we have Summer Fridays, and this is a sheer skin tint, and I can't wait to try this. I want to see how this does. Supposedly, it helps, like, when you just want that perfect makeup, no makeup look day, and, you know, kind of like just want to get up and go. Supposedly, you put this on, and your skin looks like amazing. So, I'm going to, I got the shade, what shade did I get? Shade 6. I'm going to put a little bit on my hand right here. See what this is looking like, what it's giving. Can you see that? This is actually nice. Yeah, this is nice. Mm-hmm. I like it. I was seeing if it had a smell, but what I'm smelling is actually the sky. Sky the coconut coal. Okay, and last but definitely not least is the Glossier You Perfume. Now, I'm not really sure why it came in this packaging. Um, I don't know if this is the packaging that it comes in. I would assume that it comes in a box, but clearly no, it came, it came like this. So, Let's see what this smells like. Now, this has been talked about all over. Um, it's fairly inexpensive. I think this was like 60 bucks plus 20%. Six times eight is 12. Minus 60 comes out to $48. Uh-huh, you like how I did that math there, math there right? <laughs> Beauty and brains, you know what I mean? 
But anyway, let's see what this smells like. Now, this is supposed to be supposed to be a uh, clean girl scent. It is likable by many. Um, so let's see as soon as I get the packaging out what this smells like. In, in fact, I'll be right back. Okay, so I looked up the notes for you guys for Glossier U and it has musk notes, powdery notes, and iris. So this is probably gonna smell like a baby. Let's see, I haven't sprayed it yet. I'm figuring out what space do I have? Where can I spray? Okay, so we're gonna spray it right here. Okay, let's look at the atomizer. This was released in 2017 though, and it's getting all the hype now. So let's see. So I'm not a fan of fragrances that have iris in it. To me, this smells like a more powdery product candy and not as sweet. Um, Is it worth $48? It's giving no. Like it's, I don't understand what the hype is about this. Just go get you some product candy. And it actually, product candy actually smells a little better than this, a lot better. Okay, so this is finding its way back to Sephora. <laughs> is it a slay or stay? It's a stay, right? Right in the store. Like I'm not doing this, okay? Yeah, no, I don't like it. So if you like baby powder, iris, fragrances, and notes, fine. But this doesn't deserve the hype that it's getting. So let's just take this back to the store. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and will, and is. And hey, y'all, so I had to come back because it's starting to give something different on my wrist. Glossier U is starting to change, okay? So apparently this fragrance the reason why they call it you is because it's a molecular fragrance and it supposedly smells different on everyone. And initially when I sprayed it, I was like, oh no, this is, I don't like this. This is musky, not even musky because I like a good musk, but it's powdery, a little too powdery for me. However, baby, listen to me. This thing is drying down, smelling like a smell on me, okay? So I had, I had pre-packaged it back up to send back. Hold on, let's. Give it another little spray here. Because, excuse me. That initial powderiness dries down and it starts smelling on me. It starts smelling like Casablanca by Swiss Arabian. That's what it starts smelling like on me. So it gets clean, but it also gets sweeter. So I may have to second guess taking this back. I suggest if your local Sephora carries this, go in there and go try it on your skin, walk around the store and come back. This may be a keeper, may. And I also bought some Natural Radiant Foundation. Um, one of my foundations that I love is NARS All Day Luminous in the color New Guinea. Um, they do not make this formula anymore. This formula is perfect because it's good for dry skin. Even though it says semi-matte, it is not. It is a nice radiant but not oily foundation. And it is full coverage. And it is lightweight. However, the new shades they don't have my shade which is new guinea so a lot of people think that i'm either lighter than what i am and they give me this light shade like they try to give me um um caracas or they try to give me um cadiz or sometimes they, i even get paired with um Macau, but those undertones are totally not good for me i have a very neutral undertone today i have on the um natural radiant foundation in the color Macau and I'm taking it back because it's a little too orange for me. I like my foundations a little deeper because I love to highlight. So this I find is like the perfect match for me undertone wise and it's also the perfect, it gives me the perfect finish that I want. I don't like my foundations too matte. 
I like something that's full coverage. Um, so I'm going to wind up taking that back as well. So what do I recommend? I do recommend this, the Bum Bum oil, firming oil. I do recommend you go get Prada Paradox. Go get the refill if you have the bottle already. If you don't have the bottle, go pick you up one. And if you want to smell like it, all you have to do is get My Way by Giorgio Armani if you already have it. And Donna Born and Roma if you already have it. And you just mix those together and you have this. The Skylar Coconut is reminding me of something. I can't put my finger on it my finger on it just yet it's gonna drive me nuts because as soon as I end this video I'm gonna know exactly what this smells like then we also have this Juliet has a gun lust for sun this is amazing this is gonna be a nice summer staple for me I really really like this it's very fresh not even fresh it's sweet aquatic and summer like it has must have a solar note in it but it's amazing I like this and I feel like the, the fragrance I was smelling, I was like, mm, what am I smelling? I don't think it's tuberose. I think it's gardenia. So if you like this, if you like gardenia, then I would pick this up. But not gardenia in a way you smell like a, a bed of roses. And I mean, I'm sorry, a garden. It smells very, very summer. I like it a lot, actually. And that's it. That's what I got. So I'm going to have a part three. I'll do that unboxing soon. And as always, stay elevated, stay humble, stay beautiful and stay blessed.